What is up FPG fam further here and today's video is going to be a relatively short one but exciting nonetheless I wanted to talk about weathering waves the IGN exclusive gameplay video hitting 1 million views now I wanted to share this with you all just in case you're unaware that it did hit a million views but I wanted to also discuss why this is exciting and why it's monumental in my opinion so we're going to go ahead and discuss that in today's video if you do enjoy go ahead and drop a like sub if you're new I would love to have you stick around, join the FPG fam. Also, follow me on Twitter. I would love to have more of my Twitter followers over there discussing weathering waves and all things that are in regards to it. Also, did want to mention that the engagement has been incredible, uh, to say the least. So thank you guys so much for all the support. I do truly appreciate it. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So IGN's weathering waves video hitting 1 million views. Also, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. That's incredible and exciting because that means people are excited about this game they're hyped and they are anticipating for the release which is understandable weathering waves offers some incredible combat some incredible views and scenery also incredible characters with unique mechanics and all sorts of different features that you would want from an open world game so the excitement is understandable but also Kuro games has curated a very tight-knit community with punishing gray raven so of course naturally those players are going to come over to weathering waves and check it out and it it's just all a great ecosystem that we have going on here but also when you have a game like weathering waves that hasn't been officially released hasn't even officially had a closed beta yet but the video has hit a million views that is what i would consider monumental and unprecedented uh, because we've only had a technical test and this just shows the level of excitement that people have for this game and how they want to get their hands on it and try it out for themselves but i did want to go ahead and do a bit of a comparison so you can understand how incredible this really is and if you're a weathering waves fan and excited for this game why this should have you even more excited so if we take a look at kiro games other game punishing gray raven that i mentioned once before their official youtube channel if you wanted to see anything close to a million views you would have to go all the way back to a year ago to this video right here where it hit 756,000 views. Now, I already know what you guys are typing down in the comments below, but further, this is from IGN's YouTube channel where they have far more subscribers. Of course, it's going to hit more views or get more views than the Punishing Gray Raven YouTube channel. And for that, I would say you are correct, but I have a rebuttal. If we take a look at the Wuthering Waves YouTube channel and we look at their videos, you can see that you only have to go back six months ago and you have this video right here hitting 852,000 views, almost a million views on this video. And that was only six months ago, whereas you would have to go back a year ago to get less views than that one, albeit close but less views than that one. Now, the rest of their videos are doing relatively well, right? 482,000, but that was a year ago. 212,000, another year ago. So the hype is still there for Punishing Gray Raven, which by the way, if you have not played Punishing Gray Raven and are excited about Wuthering Waves, I implore you, check the game out, download it, try it out for yourself. It's a great game, and nonetheless, at, at least you get an idea of how Kuro Games games are played, the combat, and the feel for it, so that way you're prepared for Wuthering Waves and how the enemies and bosses are, but I digress. Um, but if you take a look at Wuthering Waves' YouTube channel, you can see the difference in far less time, 852,000, uh, 8 months ago, 175,000, 10 months ago, 646,000. You guys kind of get the idea. The Wuthering Waves hype is real. And rightfully so. It's an open world game, right? It is different from Punishing Gray Raven, where Punishing Gray Raven is very linear. It's a very traditional gacha game where Wuthering Waves is going to be open world in that genre, competing with other open world games like Engine Impact, Breath of the Wild, things of that nature. Um, but it's also a new game, right? Punishing Gray Raven has been out for quite some time. Wuthering Waves is new, so naturally it's going to garner some hype, some anticipation. But I will dare say that Wuthering Waves, the developers, uh, Kuro Games, they have been doing, at least recently, some fantastic marketing that I don't think Punishing Gray Raven ever received. Which is okay, you live and learn, right? As, as the years go by, you learn how to do things. As a developer, you learn how to do things and do things the correct way. Well, they have learned and they're doing the correct things with Wuthering Waves, which I also think Wuthering Waves is like their baby, it's their, their passion project. I, I don't believe that Punishing Grave Raven is not a passion project for them, certainly so, uh, and you can see it just with the level of detail and love that they put into that game, 
but I really think Wuthering Waves is one that they're focusing on and they're really putting a lot of heart and effort into and you can look at their Twitter page and you can see the the correct things that they're doing with the marketing right they're showing us bosses to get us hyped and excited to fight them they're showing us characters and gameplay for them archives background lore they're doing the right things when it comes to weathering waves the marketing had been on point as of recently and that is all i ever wanted kiro games to do with weathering waves is to make sure that they market the game correctly because good marketing leads to a successful game it leads to hype it leads to anticipation it leads to players wanting to get their hands on the game because you are hyping it up you're doing what you need to do to get people excited this Gion gameplay in of itself has led to so many fan art it is ridiculous right this picture right here has led to so many fan art right the, the mystery video right here of these two characters the mystery video of the other characters this one right here showing the world and doing more trailers it just they're doing the right things and they're doing it in the correct way and i think that's why it led to this going for a million views and why their youtube channel and everything they put out does well also uh, is because they're doing the right things now views alone don't automatically equal success for a game right views are great at getting exposure to a game getting new players to find interest in it and to to get people uh to gather around and, and for content creators to do their videos on it but views alone don't lead to a successful game you of course have to couple that with the developers driving the game in the right direction doing the correct things in terms of the characters the events that they put on the different aspects when it comes to the gotcha making sure that that is correct and what the players want and the community wants right having a good timeline and things of that nature all go into a successful game uh, good communication um, and, and things of that nature so with that being said um, I think Wuthering Waves is in such a fantastic spot. Once again, we haven't even gotten the closed beta. We're leading up to that. I hope I get in. Please, Kuro Game, let me in that closed beta. I could do so many videos and streams. I digress. <laughs> they're, they're doing the right things. It's heading in the right direction. It's a special game, and it's one that has captured my heart and that I'm truly passionate about, if you cannot tell. So, with that being said, I just tell Kuro Games, keep it up. Keep doing what you're doing. Go further beyond unintended uh, in terms of marketing in terms of trailers in terms of gameplay in terms of characters and redesigns and development you're doing a great job and I just want you to keep it up because this game is special you have something incredibly special on your hands and that is just all being shown with everything that we have here so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and leave it off at that let me know your thoughts down in the comments below thank you guys so much for all the support once again I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You can call me further. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.